country and now it's on the docket in our state capital. Transgender rights, particularly when it comes to bathroom usage. Jeff Slauson is here to explain how lawmakers are trying to enforce regulations in Ohio schools and we're talking all the way from the bottom to the top K through college. Yeah, this would be a massive change for many people. Now the idea behind this bill, at least according to those that have proposed it, is to be able to protect students and protect rights within student bathrooms. So where would we be in this situation? Well, this is what the map currently looks like for those states that have either proposed or already accepted some sort of a ban when it comes to bathrooms in schools. The closest one to what's actually being proposed here in Ohio is the one that was signed in New Hampshire, the one that was proposed in New Hampshire. So what exactly would this bill be? Well, the bathroom bill in the state of Ohio as presented would say that the gender of a person is considered what was on their birth certificate. So if someone was born male or born female, that is the gender that is on their birth certificate. And that is the gender that determines which bathroom they will use. So let's say that a person was born male. They transitioned to become a female. They would still be using the male bathroom. If they are found using the female bathroom, they will not be allowed to do so and potentially could face some sort of an issue. This would be mandated in every single school. Now this would only be for multiple student bathrooms, showering areas, changing areas, locker rooms, places like that. If it is a single person bathroom, that person could still use whatever they identify by. If this sounds confusing, that's because it kind of is. So for many students, if it is a multi-person bathroom, they would have to use what is on their birth certificate. If it is a single person bathroom, they could use the bathroom that they choose. This would go, as Chris mentioned, for kindergarten through 12th grade, including college as well. And in addition to that, it does not apply to children 10 and under that are accompanied by a parent, guardian, someone like that. Now, we did make attempts to reach out to those that proposed this bill and those that are against this bill to at least get some more clarity. But where we are in this process is still incredibly early. However, Obviously, this still makes the headlines and is incredibly newsworthy. Where we are in this point is that it was just proposed. We don't even know if it's going to be given to a committee, which it's expected to do so at some point. Once that happens, discussion will go back and forth. But because this was proposed by Republican lawmakers, Republicans could then vote on it, pass it through the Assembly and the Senate, and all it would take is a signature from Governor DeWine. He has not necessarily indicated whether that would be the case or not. However, I do want to point out with this bathroom bill, it's not necessarily that much more of a different bill than we've seen from other Republican led states across the countries country and those those bills in those states have passed. Jeff Slauson 19 news.